Hello there! I'm in Wisconsin Dells right now and a lot coming up in this video. So if you uh, have been on my Facebook or my Instagram and you have tagged me and you have shared and forwarded the information on the contest, well in this video I'll announce a winner later on in the video. It could be you if you did that. And if you're subscribed to the channel as well for Wisconsin Dells Attraction Package, a pair of tickets for Land and Natura Water Park here in the Dells. Also a pair of tickets for Timber Falls Miniature Golf, which is actually right over there, by the way. And a pair of tickets for Knuckleheads. All can be yours, all six tickets. And we'll find out if you're the winner coming up later in the video. So keep watching for that. In the meantime, we are in Wisconsin Dells again because i want to show you some something doing a little something different here some before and after some now and then or then and now i'll figure it out we'll be right back now the uh, big old bridge as you come into uh, downtown wisconsin dells Let's see if we can get around this railing here this thing goes back to uh, 1903. That is definitely an old bridge. So way, way, way back in the day, the lower part of the bridge over here used to have all of the uh, old cars from the uh, early 1900s traveling up and down. Them. And then above here, which is still in use today for the uh, train, Amtrak and the uh, freight trains that go by and that'll bring into Wisconsin Dells. And something that used to say Wisconsin Dells is right over here. This is very different. Let's, uh, let's walk back a little bit. So this is very different compared to how it used to look a long time ago. Check this picture out. A little different from then till now. And whether or not you're a big fan of Wisconsin Dells, whether or not you'll be coming to Wisconsin Dells, or if you're just here and kind of missing the area a little bit, it's always fun to, uh, to reminisce and go back in time. You don't even have to know this area whatsoever, just to see the uh, then and now pictures that I'll show you. And if this video is of interest to you and you like it, give it a thumbs up because I've got a handful of old pictures of Wisconsin Dells. I'd like to do more videos like this in the future. And who knows? Maybe I'll get my hands on some pictures of some other tourist towns and some fun cities and we'll do some other then and nows. Let's see how this video goes first. Get nuts at the Showboat Saloon. That place has been the showboat for a very, very long time. But check out this picture. Isn't that something? Uh, pardon the noise of all of the uh, traffic here. I just love this scenery of the uh, Wisconsin River right over here. Isn't that beautiful? With the, uh, it's hard to see some of it. I'm not in the best spot for the rock formation. The uh, famous river walk is just that way a little bit. But this is a uh, beautiful scenic ri river here in uh, this part of Wisconsin. And I almost tripped over this thing. Yeah, I know it's a little hard to hear right now because there's a uh, train going by on those tracks I just showed you not too long ago. Let's see if we can get a better view of it. There we go. Yeah, so is that just a uh, hole from uh, maybe the earth opening up over here? <laughs> Was there something down there at one time? It's on a slant. Or is there a uh, big animal that lives down there? Well, whatever it is, if it is an animal, I don't want to find out and disturb it, so I'm just going to keep on moving. Check out some other old time pictures of then and now here in Wisconsin Dells. I'm pretty sure I am in the right spot where this picture was taken. And right about here, as you enter town, although these folks are leaving town, it's changed a little bit, a little bit different looking today late summer of 2024. There are plenty of other pictures and angles that I want to show you here in the water park capital of the world. Now obviously when these pictures were taken 
this town was not the water park capital of the world. And some of the later pictures from like the 70s and early 80s that I'll show you in this video, the water parks are starting to pop up, but nothing like today. Take a look at this, this angle. Still in downtown Wisconsin Dells. All I did was cross the, uh, cross the street here, cross Broadway. So you've got the uh, big sign for the Dells Boat Tours over there. This is now Ripley's Believe It or Not. This building going back used to be the um, used to be Wizard Quest, but they have moved on the other side to downtown Wisconsin Dells. And going back many, many, many years ago, it was the uh, Wax Museum here in Wisconsin Dells. But take a look at this angle right here. All right, now check out this picture. If you look at the uh, Dell sign, Dell's boat trip sign, obviously that has been replaced with the uh, current one right in front of us there. And check out the uh, building behind it. Okay, so the uh, building behind the sign there, it's brown, a little tan facing us, darker brown facing the other way and a dark roof after this bus gets out of the way. He just has no idea what we're trying to do. Okay, so check out that building there, right? And let's go back to the old-time picture. It was a, uh, looks like it was a, uh, a, a coffee house type restaurant over there. And many years ago, it was the Penny Arcade. Well, I think the Penny Arcade was actually next to it. And I believe in the Point store right over there it used to be the uh, Penny Arcade. I remember when I was a kid in the 80s. I would go there a lot when we'd come to Wisconsin Dells doing family vacations. They had the, uh, you might recall the uh, the old-fashioned guns where you put like a quarter in and it would shoot like a, it would be like a quick strobe and you'd be able to activate something. For example, maybe it was a beer can that would like fall off the table. Maybe a bell would ring. Um, but anyways, that's when people were walking around with the old-fashioned cameras, those flashes. Uh, film, you know, the old Kodak days, because it was a Kodak moment, and you could go ahead and take the uh, take a picture of the shooting range, and once the flash would go, it would hit the sensor on anything that had a, a sensor and activate them. Not that I ever did that. The old Penny Arcade, if you know where I'm at. All right, here's a picture. That was a store that had the um, that big troll animatronic. He used to sing, like, What a Wonderful World, I recall. Um, a couple of other songs they would talk to, you, just like that giant troll. And I remember sometimes, like, during storms or something, sometimes the uh, electricity, the lights would flash in there because he drew so much power. And it's such an old building. It just was not designed, or at least upgraded at that time, to um, have that kind of electricity going to one source. So I don't know what ha ever happened to that troll. It's a shame he's gone. And it's another t-shirt shop today. <laughs> Speaking of t-shirt shops, I saw this walking down the uh, sidewalk here. In case you are not happy with the uh, candidates running right now, there's always Taylor Swift. I have a lot of videos on the channel of downtown Wisconsin Dells, and you will find them in the uh, Wisconsin Dells playlist section. So if you're a big fan of Wisconsin Dells, or you just want to learn more about the water park capital of the world, check it out. Okay, see uh, above the uh, ghost boat, ticket sign way down there that uh, building with the uh, like copper top roof to it that is uh, the ticket office for the uh, Dell's boat tours and the ghost boats check out this picture here's a little bit closer of a shot of that building and this part of uh, Broadway Got the uh, bridge over there with the train tracks. Over the decades, downtown Wisconsin Dells has seen a lot of changes, but yet it's also stayed the same. So, of course, these t-shirt shops are still here. The fudge stores are still here. They might have changed the facades, the fronts a little bit, but they're all still here. And some other stores have come and gone. But there's more to downtown Wisconsin Dells as we continue our little journey with the evolution of Wisconsin, Wisconsin Dells. And keep watching because I think you'll probably want to see a couple of the old parks that used to be very popular back in the day. And they're all gone. Uh -oh.
this is a walk down memory lane. If you're familiar with Wisconsin Dells, I'll give you a second. Do you know exactly where I'm at? Check this out. Fort Dells is now home of Walgreens. Actually, Fort Dells was a, a decent sized park. So we've got Walgreens and McDonald's. That's the uh, largest McDonald's in the state of Wisconsin, by the way. And they're just awarded some, well, not just awarded. It's been a couple of years. I did a video on it. Something like the uh, nicest McDonald's in all of Wisconsin. And they had something else. I don't know. That video's on the channel somewhere. And uh, just look, search McDonald's as a keyword for the video. But anyways, so right about at the end of the building, right over there, is approximately where the Totem Tower ride used to stand. That's that uh, ride that went around the giant flagpole. And as uh, time went on and Fort Dells changed and was sold and became the Dells Crossroads, you may recall that. And the Dells Crossroads had the Pepsi Tower then. Same ride, they just, uh, I guess Pepsi paid to uh, put their Pepsi cans all over the ride. So this whole site right here is home of, uh, or used to be the home of Fort Dells. Do you remember Black Bart, if you're familiar with Wisconsin Dells? They would do the uh, stagecoach shows and Black Bart doing the robberies every day in the summer. And if you have no clue on what I'm talking about, well, don't worry, half the time I don't know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, that was, that was definitely a long time ago. A long time ago. And Fort Dells was so popular when it was built. You know, I really don't know the actual reason why they shut down, why it closed. I mean, I know it was sold off and then it uh, changed into uh, Dells Crossroads. And they had a water slide, which I'll show you in a moment where it was. And they tried, uh, I think with like one or maybe two water slides, they tried to compete with the other water parks that were starting to build up in the Wisconsin Dells. You could tell at one time there was a, another building here. It was a restaurant of some sort, as I show you the uh, old property. In fact, here's some of the uh, old sidewalk and uh, some parking area and a bunch of wood chips. What is that? I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it's just a uh, stake with a uh, flag on it, like a construction flag. And something interesting back here, there's a bunch of these stakes, these markers with the uh, construction flags all over them. So back there, I'm going to try and get a closer view from a, a different angle here in a minute. But back there is the uh, creek that used to run through and still does, Fort Dells. And I believe they use that creek for uh, like a paddle boat ride. Now, see, they're getting ready to do something. Another marker here. This is painted bright blue. Something's coming back here. I've not heard anything, so I'll have to uh, dig around. Be nosy. If you're a, uh, a local here in Wisconsin Dells and you know what's going back, where all these markers are, comment below. Curious minds want to know. That uh, IHOP, that's basically where the uh, water slide was from. Dells Crossroads slash Fort Dells. If I recall, there's something else other than the creek that was uh, built by man and was made for Fort Dells, and I believe it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. It is so hard to see with uh, the trees in the way. I mean, I can barely see it with my eye. You might be able to see it over here, though. Right going up and down here. Let me just zoom back a second so you could see here. Right up and down here. That is a light pole. Somebody wants their McFood. <laughs> the drive through McDonald's. And uh, maybe I could get a better angle of this. That light pole uh, was for Fort Dells, actually. Here we go. Here's the back of it. Just trying to get across these uh, 
weeds and the tall grass here without going into uh, the road. All right, check this out. So that light was from uh, Fort Dells. And that used to light up either a part of the parking lot. I can't remember if the parking lot stretched over this far or not. Or the end of the uh, totem tower ride. It's a little hard to see, but there's a glimpse of the creek from Fort Dells that I was telling you about. Yeah, I know it's hard to see. It's back there, trust me. A little of the uh, creek. Well, obviously back then it wasn't uh, all grown over like it is now. I think I figured out what all those markers were for the, with the flags. If you look over here in this construction, if you look over there where all the construction is, they're building a uh, new hotel. I believe it will be open for uh, early summer of 2025. It's supposed to be a real nice hotel. And of course, I will have more information on that and we'll do a complete tour once it's built. If I could get some better shots of it, because where they're building it, um, it is just, it's almost impossible to get to right now. We'll try and document some of the uh, progress of the construction. So if we could just get to it. So anyways, okay, so the creek is over there. There's a deer over there. The hotel they're building over is over there. So I'm wondering if part of this hotel that they're building behind me, if that is going to uh, extend, I don't know, maybe the pool or, or a part of its property is going to extend a bit where we saw the markers earlier. So there we go. Maybe I answered my own question. But again, if you know the area and you know what's going on, comment below. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. I need to get to the other side of this McDonald's. So come on out. Give you a quick peek as we walk through. Thank you. Yeah, you betcha. I'm glad we did this. Here's a uh, picture. Another one inside the McDonald's of Fort Dells. You got the uh, totem tower that was right there. Where I was standing, yeah, to where that light is, is right about here. Right about there. So it's more towards the uh, creek. Uh, Walgreens is more about here. We're standing more about there. I know with the glare, it's hard to see. All right, give the uh, video a thumbs up if you enjoyed that walk through McDonald's. That was McFun. There we go, right across the street, the old Fort Dells. You can actually see the uh, crane over there where they're working on that new hotel right by the creek. So that was the old Fort Dells. And right over there was Xanadu, the house of tomorrow. The house of tomorrow featured a microwave. <laughs> the house of tomorrow is now the house of yesterday, long gone. These uh, Xanadus had popped up in a few tourist towns. I recall there was one in Kissimmee, right by Walt Disney World. I believe there was one in the uh, Smoky Mountain area, Pigeon Forge. Maybe it was Gatlinburg. There were plants in there too. Not that plants are a big deal. I just remember when I was a kid, and I think we only did it like once or twice. There were plants all over the place. I, I do remember the plants. I don't remember the microwave, but I do remember reading in the marketing materials online that I was able to find that the House of Tomorrow included a microwave, so I'll take their word for it. How's about those uh, old time photos that we saw earlier in the video though, huh? Yeah, pretty neat. If you enjoy this kind of video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below and I'll make another one for you. Maybe in Wisconsin Dells, maybe on some other tourist towns or Madison, Milwaukee, Chicago, who knows? Wherever the wind blows me and your comments tell me where to go. Nicely, of course. Speaking of those old pictures, this is a great place to come to make your own old pictures and great memories here in downtown Wisconsin Dells. They've got a bunch of these stores up and downtown here, so you may want to check it out, make yourself an old time photo, some real neat uh, uh, backdrops and so forth like that that you could do here. And by the way, a lot of those old pictures I found have come from different sources, including some great pictures here from the H&H &H Bennett Studio and Museum here in downtown Wisconsin Dells. 
It's a great little museum. You should check it out if you're interested in some of the history. And no, your eyes do not deceive you. I have made a wardrobe change. Actually, for me, it's two days later from the video, video that you just watched right now. Uh, that is fully produced, ready to go, obviously. You just saw it. But I couldn't close out on it yet because this is the video where I'm making a winner for the attractions package here in Wisconsin Dells. Again, a big special thanks to Land and Natura for providing a couple of tickets, Knuckleheads, and Timber Falls Miniature Golf. And we're gonna go back to the studio and grab a winner right now. I made a spreadsheet for everybody that is eligible for this contest. And I put all of the names of people that were sharing, commenting, and liking the posts of the information of the contest on my Facebook page, Instagram page, and those that are subscribed to YouTube. So once I got all of that information from the last month and put it all together, I found this online picker that will grab a name from the spreadsheet, and we're going to make that winner right now. You can see here's all of the names from the spreadsheet into the, uh, the picker. Thank you. There we go. Congratulations goes to Jess Lynn Larson. Jess underscore Lynn underscore Larson. Congratulations. You just picked up a pair of tickets for Lando Natura, a pair of tickets for Knuckleheads, and a pair of tickets for Timber Falls Miniature Golf here in Wisconsin Dells. All good for the rest of the 2024 season. So Jess, what I need you to do is comment in this video and I will connect with you. I'll grab your information and I will mail those tickets out to you lickety split so you've got some time to enjoy them uh, during the 2024 season here in Wisconsin Dells. The knucklehead passes are good for the rest of the year, so you've got a little time on that. And Timber Falls, I don't think, closes till fall, but Land of Natura goes through Labor Day weekend, so Jess, get a hold of me. Congratulations to you again, and for everybody else, thank you so much for following me on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribing to the channel here. You'll see me on the next one. Bye-bye! For more travel, attractions, reviews, and Wisconsin Dells vlogs, click on one of the videos to the left and subscribe right now. It's free. Please give this video a thumbs up as it helps with the YouTube algorithm. And for more, follow Maverick Hayes on Facebook and Instagram. What did you think of this video? Comment now and subscribe to the fun.